our friend Marcus Allen. Another day, another chart record for Taylor Swift. Her album Folklore debuted at number one on the Billboard 200 album chart, and now the single Cardigan debuts at number one on the Billboard Hot 100 single chart. No artist has ever had a song and album debut at number one the same week in history on both charts, which started back in the 1950s. Give us a man, don't run. I'm just wondering if you're 100. Not another word. The Fugitive is back. Kiefer Sutherland stars in the quippy reboot of a story of a man on the run, accused of a crime he didn't commit. Sutherland says, at the heart of the story, a very relevant message. There's a part of our legal system that is innocence until proven guilty, and it's, and it's a kind of great fable on that, uh, in hoping that our society does not rush to judgment, and remember that. The first four episodes of The Fugitive are now on the Quibi app with a new episode every weekday. It's like a story ripped from his HBO show, Ballers. Dwayne The Rock Johnson is now part owner of the XFL. He's the very public face of a group that acquired the struggling football league for a reported 15 million bucks.